Hello and welcome back to another Space Entities Showcase video. In today's video I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you to see some of yours shown on this channel just leave me these Steam Workshop links somewhere and I'll eventually get around to it. But for today as you can see behind me we are looking at another land mining vehicle. And this is the KA04 King Clang Excavator, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a modded mining vehicle which utilizes the mods to control the arm via numpad. We can extend and retract it, we can change the angles of it, and we can do a little bit more, all thanks to the mod. Pressing F10 and finding the King Clang in the spawn menu. It's not 79,000. Oh no, that's a that's the pumpkin I did a long time ago. This thing is actually 447 small blocks using the Wasteland DLC pack and the Devil Block Number 1 DLC packs. It does utilize three mods, the first one being the control module, basic key bindings for ships, which is how we're going to control the drilling arm with our numpads, and then we got the wheel power up, and then we got the designer pack wheel update. So there we go. So what we're going to do is come all the way around to the very front here. My character can just bugger off into the distance. There we go. And we'll have a quick look all the way around this. Then we're going to use the drilling arm to drill that rock right over there. So at the very front, this is what we get. We've got ourselves an industrial cockpit to drive the thing around, and we've got our wasteland spotlight sitting on the side to light up the darkness. As we move around the side, we've got this black base which has our wasteland wheels attached onto, and that comes up to a rotor, which then comes up to the main body of this vehicle. This allows you to rotate it around and get a better angle without needing to reposition the entire vehicle. As we move around the side there, we can see some time blocks, some programmable blocks. We've got two batteries hidden behind our barred window blocks. Then moving all the way around towards the back here, here is our connector to unload everything we've gathered, connector to help load everything up, and a little exhaust block for some additional decoration. As we move up and above this thing, what we're going to see is a bunch of hydrogen tanks. Then we've got some more timer blocks, our hydrogen engine for some additional power. And then towards the front there, even more hydrogen tanks, and this is our drilling arm. So the arm itself, if we come all the way down around to here, is made out of blast or edge blocks and pistons, which comes down off some hinges, over to some pistons, comes over to some more hinges and pistons that make their way all the way down to the drilling arm. Before we get into it, I will just quickly come underneath it. That's how the wheels have all been protected up underneath. Nothing fancy, but it'll get the job done. Like I said, time to get into here and we can play around with the drilling arm. Grab my character, stop crouching please, there we go. Get into the seat, and we've got a few controls to go through, but first of all, the drilling arm. So using the free camera and coming all the way around over to here. So pressing number one, what we're going to do is retract and extend the arm. Pressing number one will pull it towards me, pressing number seven on the numpad will extend it away. There we go. For what's to press number three and number nine, this is for the tool retract and extend. So pressing number nine, we then move it all the way forwards so we can get nice and high and get all the precious resources in a mountainside. And pressing number three, we'll then pull it all the way back down. It is a little bit juddery with how it does it, but it's still fine by Space Engineer's standards. Number five on our numpad is to turn the drill on and off. Number two and number eight is to move the boom lift up and down. So now we can press number eight to drop it down and at number two to raise it all the way up. So if we wanted to, we could retract this all the way out, like so. Then we can press number eight and drop it all the way down to the ground. Now just pull this all the way back up and how it was. And then we'll go through the hot bar, and then we'll move over to the little rock and mine it up. So coming into first person view and bringing up the HUD, this is what we get. Number one is for our brakes on and off via our cockpit. Number two is to manually control our drills with our mouse. There we go. Number three is for our lights on the front there, so pressing number three, we'll then switch them all on. Pressing number four, we'll switch on the other ones on top, which will start blinking around. Number five is for our vanilla lights, just sit somewhere around the back of the vehicle. There they are down there. And then we got number six, which is going to be for our tool lights. So pressing them, we'll then light up the lights down there. Number seven is simply to toggle our hydrogen engine on and off to turn that on. Now get the hum of the hydrogen engine turning on and we'll get some additional power. Number eight is to view the camera behind us to help connect up our connector. And number nine is to lock and unlock our connector. 
coming out of that and moving to tab number two. We then got an air vent to suck in air or not, which is very useful if you're on a non-oxygen planet and you need to recharge yourself before you are deployed over there. And number eight and number nine are for some time blocks. If we hover over them, they are to detach the tool and to attach the tool, which we're not going to do because that defeats the purpose of trying to use this vehicle. Undoing the parking brake, what we're going to do is now move forward with this thing. We are exceptionally slow and as you can see, we do behave like a tank while turning this thing all the way around. So we can do a 360 on the spot there. Then we can move forwards. And we're going to be very, very slow. In first person view, this is what we get. We've got a few things at the top of our screen which are very helpful, such as our air vents, our hydrogen, our cargo use, and our batteries. And we do get a good view of our arm sitting right there. So we're just going to come all the way over to this, then I'll bring the free camera over. And we'll attempt to mine up whatever resources are inside here. That is one thing that this vehicle is missing, and that is a ore detector. So you will have to suck it and see with what you get. So in third person view, that looks about right. We're going to put our parking brake on, bring the free camera all the way over to here. There we go. And we're going to make sure we've got a nice lot of lighting and get a good view of what's going on. So we're going to press number five and we're going to start up the drill. We're now going to retract this all the way forwards like so. And we're going to start mining away at the rock. Then we're going to press number eight and we're going to start moving it forwards. We can keep rotating this up like so. We can also then extend the arm out a little bit more. And we can keep going like so. It's going to get very, very wobbly. There's not too much you can really do about that. Just have to let it get stable. And then very carefully just bump it forwards. So we're going to drop that down. Can't angle it anymore. That is the maximum we can angle it. But we can just keep going like so. And we can keep moving it forwards. A little bit more forwards. Let's just keep pushing that out like so. And so there we are. That is as far as we can extend our arm out straight forwards, which is quite a nice distance for such a fancy looking arm. So we can just undo the parking brake now and move this thing forwards a little bit to keep going. There we go. Looks like we've got some silver inside here. We're just going to keep moving it forwards. Coming from the top view, like so. There we go. And now once we're done, we can then press number five. We can then reverse ourselves all the way back. There we are. Put our parking brake back on. Now we just reset it back to how it was. So pressing number three, pressing number two, pressing number one. We're going to retract it all the way down. And there we go, we've just retracted it all the way back to how it was, and then we're ready to move it away or even put it back to storage, or do whatever with. And that is basically it for the K804 King Clang Excavator. And that is why it's called King Clang, because you know Lord Clang's going to get very angry with this thing very quickly, and I got very lucky to avoid his wrath while mining that little rock. Anyway, coming into here and checking the inventory, we've got some stone, we've got some organic, and we got some nickel and stone. Turns out it wasn't silver, but yes, we can carry a little bit of stone in here. And we got a little bit of nickel thanks to this rock. And yes, that is pretty much it for this vehicle. So if you wish to download and play around with it yourself, there will be a link to it in the description below. I highly recommend you do because it's a fancy little thing and I would love to see a large block giant version of this just to destroy a mountainside. Yes, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye-bye.